Hi, I think you know the experience. You look forward for a warm shower and then the water is missing. We will answer the question if Velo has the right solution for this problem. My name is Fabian, have fun. Today, my guest is Roman. He is a product manager for water supply and you will surprise us, right? Yes, Fabian, you're right. I brought a surprise with me today. Uh, this is the ESA Boost 5, which I consider as the next big step in our development of water supply products in domestic application. And to showcase and also to explain this a little bit, I brought a part mm -hmm. of Velo's domestic water supply portfolio today. Sounds great. Okay, Fabian, so here we have three products mm -hmm. uh, from the Velo portfolio of domestic water supply. And we're starting with the High Multi 3. So this is a technology that has been on the market for years and decades, basically. Um, so it's consisting of a centrifugal pump mm -hmm. and uh, in horizontal execution. And uh, this execution, the High Multi 3 itself, it's a sturdy design, uh, reliable, we have a high efficiency, and um, it's very useful in a lot of applications. Mm -hmm. What you can also uh, see here a little bit, that it is a manual control. So you have an on and off switch. So um, you have to yeah, uh, manually control itself to, to start and stop. Okay. And of course we could think about yeah, a little high level of comfort in this whole area of application. And this uh, is resembled by the connection of the High Multi 3 with the high control one. So this is a simple um, automatic control, mm -hmm. uh, which is starting the pump whenever the pressure in the piping is dropping. Okay. Uh, so simple uh, um, automatic uh, principle here. And then I want to present you our new flagship, the ESA Boost 5, okay. uh, which is consisting, uh, which is um, a fully integrated uh, pressure boosting system for domestic application uh, with a uh, frequency converter and really granting optimum performance and optimum pressure all the time. That's clear. Constant water pressure is a good point. From my point of view, the uh, public water supplier takes care that there's enough pressure in my installation. Am I right? Uh, that's a good point. Uh, so first of all, there might be regional differences, mm -hmm. uh, but we also have to look at the individual case. Okay. So um, it might be that the, uh, the water supply is uh, granting a certain uh, water pressure level, but uh, just until the domestic water connection. What, ha what happens afterwards, we really have to dig into. We have to, uh, perhaps the situation that we have a, a big garden mm. and in the last corner, we want to have just the right amount of pressure to still do some, some irrigation and water our plants there. So, uh, and this might not always be the case that we have enough water pressure there. Mm -hmm. um, there might also be uh, some other, other rules we have to apply, for instance, to use a brake tank between the domestic uh, water connection and your domestic piping. Okay. And for those cases, we need to pressurize the whole system again. And the ESA Boost 5 is really the, the perfect solution for this. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, really going for the individual pressure level that is needed mm -hmm. and uh, delivering optimum water pressure for the individual case. Furthermore, we can use this, this system here also in uh, applications like rainwater utilization from a cistern mm -hmm. or also um, uh, in raw water intake application, uh, maybe from a shallow well. Okay. Roman, to answer the question from the beginning, that means I stand under the shower, my wife stands in the garden and use a lot of water for our roses. What is the right solution that everyone has enough water and comfort? Yes, so uh, the Isabus 5 might be the right solution because it has been specifically designed for this purpose. Meaning that we have in a domestic application several extraction points, mm -hmm. the shower, maybe um, uh, the, the dishwasher, we have the, uh, the sprinkler in the garden. Yeah. And if uh, they are all turned, at the same, uh, turned on at the same time, we have to make sure that we still reach the right amount of pressure mm -hmm. with this increased uh, demand of flow. 
and we can grant this within the uh, ESA Boost 5 with the integrated frequency converter, which is granting the constant pressure functionality mm -hmm. and therefore optimum pressure all the time. Good. The ESA Boost 5 has a lot of benefits. Which are the most important benefits for our customers? A good question. So we have to think uh, what might be the the customers who are mostly interested in this ESA Boost 5. Mm -hmm. And um, from our point of view, these are the end users. So the ones uh, that are actually installing this product uh, in their home. Mm -hmm. And of course, the installers who yes. do the job. <laughs> so uh, for the end users, uh, first of all, it's very important that we have a silent product uh, that does not uh, create any disturbances uh, at home. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have a maximum noise level of uh, 58 uh, dB with this product, which means this is already more silent than our current COVID conversation. Okay. And we are um, uh, we, we have to say that uh, the average noise level is still much lower because because we are using this this product in partial load most of the time. Mm. Second point uh, I want to point out here is that this uh, product is saving energy. Partial load also means compared to the traditional fixed speed pumps uh, um, that only the hydraulic performance is created that is actually demanded by the user. Mm -hmm. And the third point uh, would be that uh, we have a lot of safety functions inside that are granting a sustainable and long operation. Okay. And um, thinking about the installers, yeah. what do you think? What might be a very uh, good point, good benefit for the installers? I think uh, a good and big benefit uh, could be a fast installation. Exactly. So um, we call this principle plug and pump, which means that after the hydraulic installation, mm. uh, you just have to put in the plug into the socket, turn it on, dial in the nominal uh, pressure, mm -hmm. and you're ready to go. Cool. You gave us a lot of information but I need some detailed information. So let me start with my first question. How is it possible that the ESA Boost 5 is so quiet? Yes, so the silent operation, first of all, is granted, what I said earlier, uh, by the uh, partial load operation, which is uh, often the case uh, when uh, the system is operated. Then we have the vibration damping feet mm -hmm. underneath uh, the system. And uh, the overall enclosure is designed in a way to also reduce the noise level. Mm -hmm. Good. Another question is the easy installation. Is it visible? Could you show it? Yes, yeah, sure. You, you can try it out by yourself. Really? Uh, the in and outlet yeah. uh, is designed to be turnable uh, by 360 degrees. So please, you can turn it okay. around. Oh, very easy. Yes. That makes sense. So it doesn't matter if the pipe comes from the left or the right. Um, every installation is possible. Cool. Exactly. So very flexible. Uh, installation, a lot of scenarios can be solved with this execution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's about the display? Yes, so also you can see here uh, it is um, uh, very self-explanatory. We have a plus or minus mm -hmm. uh, push button, uh, which are used to dial in the uh, set um, nominal pressure. Mm -hmm. And the LEDs are then indicating the value you have just dialed in. Okay. Good. My third question is about the application. Yes. You told us that it's possible to use it for raw water. Do you have to attend something? Yes. So um, for uh, several applications, we have to consider that XWorks, uh, this system is uh, set to uh, self pying mode, mm -hmm. which means that this lever here can be turned to the right uh, to the right angle mm -hmm. uh, to either go for the self priming functionality or the non self priming functionality and depending on your application mm. uh, you can turn it into the right position it's very easy two yeah. in one uh, uh, option here basically cool um, and my last question is uh, about the safety function could you give us a quick overview about the top four yeah sure um, the first maybe most important uh, safety function would be the uh, dry running protection, mm -hmm. which means that the pump uh, itself is protected uh, also when, when there's no water coming in, so there will be no damage, it will be stopped. Okay. Uh, then we have the, as a second point, 
uh, overcurrent protection as a third point, over and under voltage protection. Mm -hmm. And as uh, the fourth point, uh, I would like to mention that both motor and electronic temperatures are monitored all the time. Cool. Here in front, I can see two graphics and two connections. What are they for? So the upper one uh, is used to adjust the pressure inside the integrated pressure vessel. Mm -hmm. And this one uh, is used to drain the pump. Okay. So at the end, it's time for a short summary. The ESA Boost 5 is the universally used uh, pump for portable water, for irrigation, and of course for rainwater. And the big advantages are high flexibility, high comfort, and of course, high reliability. Exactly. Roman, thanks for all the answers and especially that you answered my first question. The ESA Boost 5 is the most universal and most comfortable pump in case that the uh, water pressure is too low. Thank you. Yeah, thanks Fabian for having me. And thank you for watching. If you have any question, please contact us or follow our YouTube channel Velo Group. Stay tuned for new videos. Take care and goodbye.